Yeah, junk. I'm trying to effing talk here, buddy. So, we got the standard, you know, right pad, click, D-pad, but... Say I'm running and I want to stomp, I hold left grip for my nano ability modifier. Down. Whoa! Left grip nano. Bam! Smack. Hey, I'm talking here. So, alright. Rage 2. I know this is kind of yesterday's news, but <laughs> I just picked it up on sale. This is a good use of corded press activators. So the entire D-pad gets modified when you're holding left grip. It's just standard D-pad, up, down, left, right. But when you're holding the bumper, it modifies them all to the face buttons for the nano abilities. But the more... Oh, it's going to be contentious, but the more... um, The main reason that I wanted to make a video on this is that, yes, I'm going all gamepad. And people are probably shaking their heads. Why? Why are you doing it? So actually, for me, it was a peculiar situation where I was able to determine I was getting a lot of crashes because I was trying to mix the inputs. It might have had something to do with the rumble, because I noticed when I had right pad as mouse and gyro as mouse, the rumble never worked, even if I have it turned on. So I think it was like fighting to try to do the rumble it was just something, the way it was, the game was struggling to keep switching between mixed inputs. Like, clearly, they don't design games thinking that we're playing them like that. Always when I'm trying to talk. So, why didn't I just go all mouse and keyboard? Well, I could, but for this one, I was personally kind of struggling with the vehicle controls when it's not analog. Like, I just, I don't like pushing the button and having it be full throttle. Plus, I would have ended up losing the triggers for the throttle for the vehicle, unless I made a separate vehicle set, which that I played around with too, but that, that was clunky and just didn't feel good. So in the end, I did go all game, all gamepad. But the reason I wanted to make the video on it because even though, like, I know it's an old game, was just, it feels really, really good. And this is bringing me back to kind of, I keep beating this drum and standing, <laughs> standing up on my soapbox. If you have a game, I'm going to say probably the AAA games. If it's a AAA game that was also on console, you can make mouse joystick work. Absolutely. It can be... I can turn really fast. Let's maybe turn that up so you see what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> Boy, amateur hour. There, you can see that I'm turning really fast. I have gyro very fast. Like, I do not feel like I'm compromised at all from using mouse joystick. And the struggle is always that it's game dependent. Not every game feels the same. It all depends on the game's controller support, which is why I'm bringing it back to if it's a AAA game that was on console, I'm gonna say give mouse joystick a chance if you need to. Like, I was kind of convinced with the new Call of Duty. I went all gamepad in that. It feels great. I'm going all gamepad in Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm kind of still polishing my profile. That's, I know that's also one that's like way behind the, the demand for it, but what you need to do is really go into controller settings and crank the stuff up. So I'm going 70, 60, 60. No dead zone. So if it doesn't feel responsive enough for you, you can crank that up and it it will be... Well, well, we'll just show you. Alright, so I'm at 70. We'll go up to 100. That is like... <laughs> Jeez. That is crazy. I mean, I can just do like a pretty small... Well, let's... uh, Alright, here. Let's get on the road so I can see. I want to see... Do a 180. So I'm doing maybe a...
like 15% degree flick here, and I'm doing a full 180. Now the trackpad is a little not quite the same. I mean, that's that is very much a preference thing. I like the trackball mode, and I don't keep the trackpad quite as sensitive. But, I mean, just while I'm in here trying to convince people, this would be... You know, I have it turned down some. Crank this up to... X. You see what I'm doing? Crank that up to X. There now. Not e like, not even a, a full swipe, and I can do. Yeah, I can do a 180 without even doing a full swipe. I don't want anything. Get the hell out of here. Go. But yeah, to me, this this is a little crazy and unruly. Like, I that's too much for me. But it's kind of, it's finding a balancing act between the minimum output, enhanced small movement, even that sometimes, I put that all the way down. It always depends on the game. And then, you know, finding the sweet spot, and don't, it's not always maxing that out. Like, for me, I found, you know, after testing, it was 70, 60, 60. No dead zone. Who the hell? Who's talking? Oh, it's somebody up there. Pull left trigger. Takes me into overdrive. Where are they? Where are you? Where are you? All. Oh. Probably in here. Yeah, I mean, that was, you know, just to give you a little taste of how it plays. It feels great. Yeah, I will try to, um... Oh, is there somebody else here? Where are you? Just speaking of all gamepad, I'll try to get, uh... My Red Dead Redemption... ...out there soon. People in here? Yep. So yeah, that's it. I mean, just show show it in action a little bit. And I actually don't like the rumble in this. It's feeling good in Red Dead Redemption 2, but not here. Anyways. I'll spare you me hunting around for the storage containers and fuel tanks. Um, but like I had mentioned, I have the Bethesda version of this, so... You know, 
I, this is the only community one that I'm seeing, so I don't, I don't know. But I did change my shortcut name to match the Steam version, so if you have the Steam version, it should show up. But I would really appreciate it if somebody could at least confirm that. Like, I changed my shortcut name. That's actually something, if you didn't know, go to the, the Steam page of a game and just change your non-Steam shortcut to the ID number. It'll be in the URL of that game. And then you can access community configs for that game. That's just a little... Uh, that's actually come up quite a bit. I've mentioned it before, but I wanted to mention it again here for the hell of it. I did have to make some tweaks to this, like, for the... for this, for the dash. Just for the way that I'm handling my sprinting stuff. Like, yeah, there's there, this. It, there's actually a little bit more going on under the hood here. Like, just having this switch to the stick, it would not fire it. I had to put a fire start delay into it. It's just like the way the game handles movement. It was kind of strange. And then for that dash, I had to give it start delay. Fire start delay on start presses to be able to kick that in properly. But it's working good now and everything's feeling good. And I do like having this left bumper. Now I can still hit the face buttons if I want. But, you know, I also have the option to just click it right on this right pad. It's alright. That's all I got. I will see you around.